Hello and welcome to another Okta support video. Today we're going to guide Okta administrators through the process of adding an identity provider or IDP to their Okta organization using the Okta REST API in Postman. This video is all about streamlining that process, making it faster, easier, and a whole lot more efficient. Let's dive right in. Our first step is to obtain the key ID or KID of the org to org application. This is done within the Postman environment or Okta organization where the org to org application has been set up. Execute the get app request in the identity providers collection to obtain the KID. Now we move on to step two. Here we run the get certificate request from the apps certificate operations collection Make sure to use the KID of the org to org application obtained in the first step. Here's an important note. Make sure to switch Postman environments or Okta organizations to the target of the org to org application obtained from step one. We're now ready to move on to step three running the add x509 certificate public key request. In the body of the request, ensure to send the x5c value noted in step two. Finally, for step four, execute the add saml2 IDP request from the identity provider's transaction operations collection. In the body of the request, replace the KID of the credentials with the KID of the certificate just associated with the IDP in step three. If all these steps have been followed correctly, there should be a 200 OK response and the details of the newly added IDP will be displayed in the response window in Postman. Congratulations, you've successfully added an IDP to your organization. Thanks for joining us in this Okta support video. Remember to check back on Okta's support playlist frequently for more informative videos designed to make your job as an Okta administrator easier. Until next time, stay connected, stay safe, and keep innovating.